Welcome to this part of the IBv6 static routing lecture. In this part, we are going to do the configuration of the topology. This topology, actually, we are going to configure the static routing in router 1, router 2, router 3, and the ISP router. Okay, but before we are going to examine the routing tables, the IBV6 routing tables, and we are going to use R1 to do that. To show the routing table, the IBV6 routing table, we use the I show IBV6 route command. Okay, this command shows the routing the IBV6 routing tables and it tells us that there are seven entries and after that the uh, explanation of the code the codes that will be showed uh, in front of the route record here the route record and here is the code okay because we only have uh, three interfaces in routing uh, router one, one, two, three, okay, and we don't have any static or dynamic routes configured, there will be only seven entries in the routing table one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, these entries. Uh, as we said, these entries are followed by the code that indicate the protocol that derived the route such as C for connected and L for local. Here we have C for connected, okay, and L for local. The first entry, this entry, in the routing table is the directly connected network of R1 fast Ethernet interface. So this network is directly connected to this interface which is fast Ethernet 00. The 0 slash 0 this one yes indicates the administrative distance this is the administrative distance and the metric of the route this is the metric of the route a directly connected network such as this one this one and this one can only have an administrative distance of zero and a metric of zero so no other numbers zero and zero for the directly connected networks the second line of the route of the routing table here this is the second line display the next hub this is the next hub the second line also indicate the exit interface of fast ethernet now if I want to filter the routing table uh, to show only the connected network I can use the connected option in the show IBv6 route and here the connect or connected option so I have now only three entries in a state of seven besides the three connected routing uh, three connected routes in the routing in the IBV6 routing tables there are a three other routing tables which are local one two three Okay. 
immediately following each connected network is its local network so here we have the address of the con the local network this is the host route or the ipv6 unicast address of that interface for example router one's fast ethernet zero zero interface has been manually configured with an ipv6 global unicast address of 2001 db82001 1 colon colon 1 slash 1b28 similar to the connected network a local route has an administrative distance of 0 and a metric of 0 the final row the final entry this one in the routing table is a null route to the multicast address f f zero zero colon colon slash eight this route pertains the routing of multicast packets the router will discard any multicast packets that are distant for a multicast group that is not explicitly listed in the ibv6 routing tip now if you want to filter the local entries only in the ibv6 routing table you can use the option of local here show ibv6 route local here i have only the four entries of the local interfaces local networks now let us do the same in router 2 show ibv6 route this is the routing table for router 2 and here show ibv6 route okay this is router 3 actually we have uh, four connected interface that that is why we have more than uh, seven entries and we have nine entries in the routing table of r3 in isp show ibv6 route we have five entries only because we have okay let us now configure the static routes but first we need to configure a loopback address for each router the loopback interface actually is useful because it is an interface with an ibv6 address which never goes down other interfaces may go down if there is a problem on the link so we need to configure the uh, loopback for an interface starting by router one config terminal interface loop back zero ibv6 address is we will try to uh, give a, some unique ibv6 addresses to this topology so 2001 colon 1111 colon colon slash 128 this is for router 1 router 2 conf terminal interface loop back 0 
IBV6 address 2001 colon 2222 colon colon slash 128 and router 3 of terminal interface loop back 0 IB v6 address is 2001 colon 3333 three, 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 colon colon slash 128 and for the ISP conf terminal interface loop back zero sorry loop back zero then ibv6 address is 2001 colon 4444 colon colon slash 128 okay now we have a loop inter uh, interface configured with an ibv6 address on each router and we can change uh, sorry we can check show ibv6 interface brief ibv6 interface brief here we have the no back and it is now up okay the next step is to be sure that the IBV6 unicast routing command in a global configuration mode has been you know uh, performed has been done and we already did this step in previous lectures the IBV6 router does not route any IBV6 packet unless uh, you get the uh, IBV6 unicast routing in it. Okay, actually, uh, this is disabled by default in Cisco IOS and must be enabled manually to get the IBV6 uh, packet routed. Uh, but in IBV4, it is enabled by default. So, IBV6, you have to enable them. You have to enable uh, the uh, unicast routing uh, manually and in IBV4 it is enabled uh, automatically or by default I mean. Now let us begin uh, to configure the static IBV6 route with router 1. Okay. Configure terminal ibv6 route 2001 colon db8 colon 2001 colon a2 colon colon slash 64 2001 colon db8 colon 2001 colon a3 colon colon 2 this command shows the first static route on r1 to the serial network between router 2 and router 3 okay let us see the topology here we have the router 1 so any packet distant to this network which is network between router 2 and router 3 should go through this IBV6 address which is 2001 DB8 
2001A3 colon colon 2 the this the uh, the uh, IPv6 of this interface okay now if you remember this type of IPv6 static routing uh, configuration is called recursive in the following example a second starting route to the same network is configured but now we are going to use the exit interface serial 00 so instead of routing to this routing the uh, packet to this router we are uh, going to tell the router to route this packet distant to this network to router 2 uh, through this interface serial 00 so IBV6 route 2001 colon db8 colon 2001 colon a2 colon colon slash 64 this is the uh, address of the network which is between router 2 and router 3 this network we are going to tell the router to forward it to serial 0 slash 0 interface and this is the directly connect static route okay and we can verify this one by using show ibv6 route remember before we had only na uh, only seven entries and now we have nine entries be this is where is a one yes a two sorry this is the a two okay and we add uh, the uh, this route to the routing table okay uh, the direct connected route is not shown here in the uh, routing table and uh, it will be you know explained now why it is not shown so far we have only configured the starting route on r1 both for the same network 2001 db8 2001 colon a2 colon colon 64 now in the following uh, commands we are going to uh, configure a static route uh, to the to reach the rest of the networks in the topology but i'm going to copy and paste the network just to the the command sorry just to save the time this is the configuration commands okay actually we had this one so I need to copy and paste only these commands copy okay now I configured the uh, routing tables for routing 1 the IBV6 routing table for routing 1 uh, to uh, reach the other networks here I will uh, verify the routing table okay now I have 16 entries in the routing table to uh, network a1 and a1 to network a2 a3 okay and to this network CE00 to this network FE00 and to other routers using the loopback addresses. Look, this is uh, the loopback address for router 2, this is loopback address for router 3, and this is the loopback address for uh, ISP router. Okay, now for the second router also I'm going to 
copy and paste the command but before that let us explain something here here I'm telling router 2 to forward any packet sent to this network which is here between router 1 and router 3 to forward them through the serial 00, zero through this interface and any packet distant to this network which is uh, 2001 dba 2001 1 colon colon this network also should be forwarded through this interface while any network distant to this uh, to, sorry any packet distant to this network should be forwarded through this interface and so on so I'm going to copy and paste these commands in router to paste them okay now I have a routing table configured for the routing R2 router show IPv6 route okay now I have 16 entries and before I had only seven entries okay good now for R3 I will do the same okay show IBV6 route okay good how many I think more than yes I have 17 entries okay for ISP router good copy and paste okay this is for the ISP router show IBV6 route okay I have all now uh, routing table uh, configured inside the four routes okay now if you want to verify with other thing you can uh, do uh, show run let me do it in router 1 show run but I'm going to filter section to route okay look any packet distant to this network should go through serial zero zero any packet distant to this network should go to uh, or through uh, serial zero one any packet uh, distant to this network i have two options either uh, go uh, through the uh, serial zero zero or through this ibv6 next hub address okay so this is another command to show the process now let us look at routing table of router one two static routes or route here were configured or r1 for the serial network between router one uh, sorry router two and router three this network one static route use the global unicast this one address and the other one applied on exit uh, interface forwarding packets to r2 uh, through the serial uh, zero zero okay now what the router r1 does when I want to send a packet from this interface or from this router to uh, address inside this network 
now the router has to boot either through serial zero zero or either through uh, the uh, IP address of this interface so what it does when I want to send a packet now I will uh, do ping to check what is happening exactly but before I will start debug IBv6 packet to check Sorry. okay now ping an interface in this network so 2001 db8 2001 colon 82 colon colon 2 this is the interface ibv6 address of this router it is inside this network i'm pinging from router 1 okay good this is the result of debugging i will uh, stop the debugging and debug all and check you know the uh, ping command initiate five packets so the first packet went through s00 the second packet went through s01 that means it used this ibv6 next hub address okay now one by one the third packet is through zero zero the fourth packet is through zero one the third packet uh, sorry fifth packet is through zero zero so the router sent a three packet through the first route which is through the uh, s zero zero and two packets through the global unicast next hub address because it has a three uh, sorry two root uh, send the packet uh, three by two on either root now what i want to do now i i will change the administrative distance of one of the root and see what uh, the behavior of uh, router one looks like okay so config terminal okay now i'm going to yes yes this route okay which is to forward the, the packets from uh, router one to this network through this IB address so I'm going to put the administrative distance as a 3 that means now the administrative distance uh, of this route is bigger than the administrative uh, uh, distance of the first route which was through the S00 okay and now I will enable the debug again and ping the same address okay okay and stop the, the debugging and check what the router did it sent the first packet out of five packets through zero zero and second packet through zero zero third packet through zero zero and fourth and five fifth packet through zero zero so it did not use the second route which is uh, by using the next hub because we changed we changed the administrative distance of this route okay now let us check the routing table show 
IBV6 plot. Yes, okay. If, if we check now, we have only one root, which is a static root, uh, to this network uh, through the zero zero. The, uh, the other root, it is not there. It is not included in the routing table, but it is there. It, it is in the running. Uh, configuration so if I put if I use the command show run filter section root I can see that I have it look I have it I have two root here okay this is the first root and this is the second root but this second root is not you know included in the routing table because it has large admin uh, yes administrative distance so the router use the serial zero zero to root the packet to forward the packet okay now at the end of this lesson we have to uh, confirm the reachability across the entire topology so we will uh, ping uh, some network some remote network from router one to check so from router one i will ping this network ping 2001 db8 colon 2001 colon 3 colon colon one I'm pinging this interface which is in this remote network of router one okay all success now let us ping another another interface here here in this network ping 2001 db8 2001 colon 2 colon colon 1 okay it is very good now in this network let me put it like here yes i will ping this network ping 2001 db no yes db8 colon CE zero zero colon one colon colon one okay success now I confirm the reachability from router one to all network let us check on the uh, one network from the router two I will ping this network so I'm going to copy and paste it okay very good in router 3 very good now from the ISP router let me move it here okay from the ISP router I'm going to ping this network this network so ping 2001 db8 2001 2 colon colon 1 yes this interface I'm pinging it from this router okay very good now I can confirm that the static routing tables configured on all routers are working properly and I don't have any problem in reachability across the entire topology. Thank you very much. I hope you get uh, benefit from this lab, from this part, uh, the practical task of uh, IBV6 static routing. But I would like to uh, 
recommend you to use the first uh, lecture before approaching this lab. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lessons.